Salam alaikum, everyone. Welcome back to Leo's Chronicles, where narratives roar to life. Hi, everyone. How are you all? After watching all the trailers released for Salahad and Ayubi, it appears that the producer has put in a significant amount of effort into the series. Extensive filming has been undertaken, featuring scenes of battles on the riverbanks and waterships. The producer's dedication to the series is clearly evident. All three trailers were impressive, but the lead actor caught my attention. It appears that Emra Kanek faced challenges in casting and hastily chose Yugo Dunish for the role of Selahaddin. After watching the trailer, I didn't sense the essence of Selahaddin Ayubi. It felt like a different series altogether. In my opinion, Ali Ursanduru would have been a more fitting choice for the role. However, it's too early to make a definitive judgment, and Yuga Gunnish should be given a chance to prove himself. After all, he has put in hard work. One thing I want to express that Imra Kanek deserves praise for the Selahaddin series, as it appears to be giving extra attention to videography in the Ayubi series. The video resolution surpasses that of other series contributing to an overall impressive production. The costumes, makeup, and city set create an authentic Syro-Arab atmosphere without a hint of Turkish influence. Moreover, the frequent release of cast pictures suggests an extensive and compelling storyline. With numerous actors joining, the series promises a robust portrayal of the violent crusade and the enigmatic Hashishan assassins, making for a strong debut. As for the 25% Pakistani actors, they are currently absent from the series despite its large cast, which comprises solely Turkish actors. There are speculations that Pakistani actors might join the series after a few episodes. Some sources suggest their inclusion in January, while others mention the possibility of Pakistani actors being part of the second season. Kashif Ansari mentioned that Pakistani actors might be included in January. Confirmations include Yumayun Saeed and Adnan Siddiqui, with rumors suggesting Hamza Ali Abbasi's potential involvement. Despite auditions, it seems established actors are preferred, leading to concerns about the time of new actors being wasted. Notably, Adnan Siddiqui lookalike is a Turkish actor in Byzantine attire. Pakistani actors are cast as extras, not main roles, sparking discussions on Pakistan's investment for quality. As Adnan Siddiqui remarked, we are in the pocket of these Turkish actors in the form of money. In conclusion, it is hoped that this series will fulfill the expectations of its viewers. Excitingly, the first episode is set to air on Monday, and we can anticipate watching it on various websites with subtitles in our respective languages on Tuesday.